Welcome back. In today's video, we will discuss about a quiz web app. This quiz web app sports time functionality. We can see in our coming few moments how it works. And first of all, we are going to our Google Sheet and understand it step by step how it works. So you can see here we have multiple sheets: the login, the result, the science, finance, and something else. Okay. So in the login screen, we basically have two columns: one for the username and second for the password. So when I am going to login screen, I just enter my username here, and I am entered wrong password here. So when I am click on the login, so you can see here invalid username or password. So when I am going to enter my correct password and click on the login, I am successfully login in my web app. So I am enter a uh, correct password. Uh, I just enter and click on the login. So I am successfully login right now. Okay. So you can see here the welcome message because right now I am just login as this user Ramis. So you can see here the welcome message. This button shows you how much time you have remaining, and it will start after your quiz start. Okay. So this is a logout button, which is basically used to log out the current quiz. So if you want to log out, you just click on the yes log out, and if you don't want to log out, you just click on the cancel. So yes log out, I want to log out, and when I am going to click uh, to login as user one, so when I am going to login. So you can see here now I am logging that user one. So this is category select five categories at least select categories at least five. So this sheet this is science sheet and in this science sheet you can add hundred of questions thousand of questions unlimited questions you want. So in the A column you can add your question in the B column your option A. Uh, how it works? We can uh, first of all we can select five categories. How? Why we select five categories? Because we are conducting quiz from our students, and we are asked to students to select your in interest. So, for example, I am a student right now, and I want to take a quiz like science. So, science category is selected. So now. If I am going to take a quiz, so the questions comes from the science. But here's the logic: we must need to select five categories. Okay, so when you select a category, the option will be hide from here. So now I am going to click on the tech. So when I am going to click on the tech, you can see the tech is hide from here and come here. And now the science and tech sheet is selected for our quiz questions. And they can pick any randomly questions. We can see in our coming moments. Okay, so now I want to take a category finance, English, and the politics. So after this, when I am going to select the sixth category, I will see error. You can only select five categories. Okay, so you will see here a button is appears the proceed. So when I am going to click on the proceed icon, my quiz is. Start from right now, and you can see my the timer is start for ten minutes. And this question, this is the question. This question after one minutes it's expire. If you don't select any option for its answer, it it will automatically mark you zero. For example, uh, this first question is comes from our finance category. So in the finance finance question one one four. Uh, finance question. It will select this question firstly. So its answer in F column. So its answer is Muhammad Ramiz. So I am going to uh, uh, submit a wrong answer here. When I am going to submit the wrong answer, it will give me a red color. When I select the right answer, it will give me a green indicator. Okay. So this is its exactly correct answer. But I am going to submit this one. So when I am going to click on this, and you can see here one minutes is successfully completed. Okay. So when I am going to click, click on the next button. You can see here the question is not answered. This okay. So now again the question come from the politics. So politics now this uh, poll from the politics. 
फर्स्ट फाइनेंस सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑटोमेटिकली पिक फ्रॉम पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटिक्स 116 दिस क्वेश्चन ओके सो नाउ इट्स आंसर इज पॉलिटिक्स इज मोहम्मद रामिज सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक इंटर करेक्ट आंसर सो क्लिक ऑन द नेक्स्ट ओके नाउ अगेन फ्रॉम द पॉलिटिक्स दिस वन आई जस्ट इंटर दिस ओके सो नाउ फ्रॉम द साइंस कैटेगरी फ्रॉम द साइंस व्हिच क्वेश्चन कम्स साइंस 111 दिस वन एंड इट्स आंसर इज ओमान सो आई एम गोइंग टू एंटर द ओमान ओके सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम ऑटोमेटिकली फ्रॉम इंग्लिश कैटेगरी यू कैन सी हियर व्हिच क्वेश्चन कम्स इंग्लिश 119 दिस वन ऑटोमेटिकली इट्स आंसर इज दिस ओके अगेन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम द साइंस अगेन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कम्स फ्रॉम द इंग्लिश आई जस्ट एंटर सैंपल क्वेश्चंस टू अंडरस्टैंड टू टेल यू where is the question comes you can see here the question come from the english category which questions english 118 this one and its answer is mohammad ramiz okay when i click on the next so again comes from the english so now the finance and now you can see a option for submit quiz so tech now the questions comes from the tech so i enter this answer and submit quiz so you scored out of 8 out of 10 8 you have successfully got 8 marks out of 10 so this question in our uh, google sheet you will see this results so in the results sheet you can see your user which user give a quiz its marks and which categories he selected and the time and the date okay so if you want to add more categories more categories example you want to add some youtube category so you just enter to youtube and when you are going to okay and click on the refresh and enter uh, login your username or password from here and now you can see here the youtube also here Okay, when you click on the YouTube, you can see here. Okay, so this is our quiz web app, Sports Ten Minutes Timer. After ten minutes, it successfully submitted all your quiz, even you are solved or not solved. So how to set up it? So let's move on. When you receive this link, you just see this kind of interference, and you just click on Make a Copy. When you click on Make a Copy, you a Google Sheet is copied successfully in your Google Drive. so you just click on extensions click on the app script icon and when you click on the app script the code is pre applied in your app script you just click on the deploy new deployment and now here you need to click on anyone and click on the deploy after deploy it will ask your permissions you need to guaranteed him to your gmail okay so it will take time authorize access you just need to click on the authorize access when you click on the authorize access you just click on the keep uh, your email and click on the advanced and now click on the go to uh, your project name and click on allow when you click on allow it will give you a link which is used to conduct your quiz from your students so if you want any kind of customization in this quiz web app you can directly contact us on our whatsapp so this is our quiz web app which is successfully used usable so take care in our next video we will discover something great uh, you can um comment your project ideas in below below comment section uh, basically this quiz web app idea come originally from our comments of our users so you can also comment in our comment section so we can build definitely to your project Uh, and please explain it very well so we can make it according to exact your need okay sir take care